groundbreaking, revealed who Russian official was really working for and. The former Soviet counterintelligence officer who met the Trump campaign at Trump Tower during President Trump's election run for a meeting supposedly about dirt on Hillary Clinton is actually connected to an anti-Trump organization. Renat Akhmachin was a lobbyist who worked alongside Fusion GPS, a left-wing research firm that supported Hillary Clinton and created the Trump dossier. That document, an otherwise unverified and fictitious intelligence report, was published by BuzzFeed in January just days before Donald Trump would be inaugurated. It also initiated the mainstream media's Trump-Russia collusion crusade that has ravaged Americans since. Akhmachin connection to fusion was made public in a letter that Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, R. Iowa wrote to then-acting Deputy Attorney General Dana Boende in March. You will hear over and over again from mainstream media how Russian undermined the election by releasing dirt on Hillary Clinton. When people are informed, apparently, the election is undermined. The question at hand recently has been if the Trump campaign had anything to do with it and if the Russians were actively trying to get Trump elected. Veselnitskaya's involvement in an anti-Trump, pro-Hillary group certainly doesn't fit the narrative that he wanted Trump to be president. The press announcement about Grassley's letter read. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley is asking whether a suspected former Russian intelligence officer turned U.S. lobbyist and the firm behind the unsubstantiated anti-Trump dossier should have registered as foreign agents for their efforts to bring down a U.S. Law on behalf of the Kremlin According to a complaint filed with the Justice Department, Fusion GPS, which was also involved in the creation of the unsubstantiated dossier alleging collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians, was involved in the pro-Russia campaign to kill the Global Magnitsky Act around the same time. Grassley goes on to write in his letter. It is particularly disturbing that Mr. Akhmachin and Fusion GPS were working together on this pro-Russia lobbying effort in 2016 in light of Mr. Akhmachin's history and reputation. Mr. Akhmachin is a Russian immigrant to the U.S. who has admitted having been a Soviet counterintelligence officer. In fact, it has been reported that he worked for the GRU and allegedly specializes in active measures campaigns that is, subversive political influence operations often involving disinformation and propaganda. According to press accounts, Mr. Akhmachin is known in foreign policy circles as a key pro-Russian operator, and Radio Free Europe described him as a Russian gun for hire, who, lurks in the shadows of Washington's lobbying world. He was even accused in a lawsuit of organizing a scheme to hack the computers of one his client's adversaries. As you know, Fusion GPS is the company behind the creation of the unsubstantiated dossier alleging a conspiracy between President Trump and Russia. It is highly troubling that Fusion GPS appears to have been working with someone with ties to Russian intelligence let alone someone alleged to have conducted political disinformation campaigns as part of a pro-Russia lobbying effort while also simultaneously overseeing the creation of the Trump, Russia dossier. The relationship casts further doubt on an already highly dubious dossier. The actions of Mr. Akhmachin, Fusion GPS, and the others described in Mr. Browder's complaint appear to show that they acted on behalf of a foreign principle. This is exactly the type of activity Congress intended to reach with FARA. 
properly enforced, FARA provides important transparency. However, in this case, because none of the parties involved in the anti-Magnitsky lobbying had properly registered under FARA, these suspicious connections were not appropriately documented and brought to public light. In fact, it is unclear whether the FBI was or is aware of Fusion GPS's pro-Russia lobbying in connection to Mr. Akhmachin, or that these efforts coincided with the creation of the dossier. Presumably, such awareness would have informed the FBI's evaluation of the dossier's credibility. This is why it is important for the Department of Justice to actually enforce FAR's disclosure requirements. Veselnitskaya told the Associated Press that he offered Donald Trump Jr. information that proved the DNC was receiving illegal funds, but Donald Trump Jr. The Blaze asserts, Akhmachin only attended the Trump Tower meeting after being invited by Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya on the same day the meeting was scheduled to take place. <laughs>